Hi thinkers, welcome to ThinkX Academy. In this video, we are going to cover the machine learning roadmap, right? So I'm going to uh, tell you what exactly should be the right path to uh, learn every concept in machine learning. We will start the roadmap with simple things and we will move on to some advanced topics as well. One important thing to note is that uh, I will also share with you the free resources that I have personally created and it matches this roadmap so that uh, you can follow this roadmap very easily and I have created those content which will be able to help you a lot in learning machine learning concepts. So basically the first thing is you need to uh, cover the machine learning theoretical part because it is very important that you do it so that once you start implementing these machine learning models uh, in Python so uh, you actually know how to increase the accuracy of the model and other things like how to train the model, test the model and how to also do some advanced steps like encoding the data set so that uh, it will match the machine learning model and it will improve the accuracy also. So before getting started, uh, I just want to say that if you uh, will like this tutorial, make sure to subscribe our channel. I keep making these content for you guys so help me support and uh, now let's uh, so now let's get started right now right so we will start with the uh, first one which is the supervised learning now machine learning is actually divided into uh, two basic things which is supervised learning and the unsupervised learning in the supervised learning you will have to start with the supervised learning because when you will understand what is supervised learning the unsupervised learning will also become a little bit more clear to you of how exactly machine learning works, right? So, uh, do, uh, I made a mistake by uh, starting machine learning using probabilistic machine learning models and a lot of uh, students make this mistake that they start with the probabilistic machine learning models, right? So, basically these models are based on probability so uh, I will also tell you what are the mathematical concepts that you will need uh, in this uh, whole roadmap. I will share with you all those details. But in these models, uh, probability is required. So uh, do not start with this because this will uh, be a lot of, uh, it will not give you an exact idea of how machine learning works, right? So you will get confused. So that's why I started from supervised learning. In supervised learning, the first one is the linear regression and linear regression here you will need a mathematical concept, right? So in the green marker, I will use the green marker to show you uh, what mathematical concept you will need in each one of these things, right? So in linear regression, we have the cost function and the gradient descent. Here you will need uh, to understand differentiation, right? So in mathematics, if you have not studied differentiation, you should study differentiation, then partial derivatives, right? You will use partial derivatives or partial differentiation uh, to perform the, uh, to implement the cost function. You also should know the equation of a line and the significance of slope. Right? So these are the mathematical concepts you will require for linear regression, uh, differentiation, partial derivatives. You should know what is the equation of line, what is slope and what is an intercept and all those things. The second part is uh, multiple linear regression, which is another variant of this linear regression. Then we have feature scaling. In feature scaling, we actually scale down the features uh, so that the machine learning model will be able to do the uh, a lot of things easier right so feature scaling is actually you can call it as a data pre-processing right so basically that's not a mathematical concept so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to use black marker only here so in feature scaling it is actually just data pre-processing Right, so in data pre-processing uh, or data cleaning, we can say uh, it is required because uh, if you will not clean the data, if the data set which is given to you is not actually pre-processed, then it will not make the models accurate. 
right so we all know that machine learning is based basically uh, it is all based on a single concept which is uh, predictions right and the all these learning models uh, which you can see here they all do a very uh, centric task of predicting and we need to improve the accuracy of these predictions right and in order to increase the accuracy some data pre-processing techniques are required in python we have some libraries uh, to do the data pre-processing which i will also mention here right so in data processing we have uh, sklearn library we have other libraries to do a lot of things like numpy and scipy all right so now let's move on to another concept which is logistic regression for classification right it is linear regression and here we have logistic regression in this also we have cost function and gradient descent and uh, basically the differentiation and all these concepts are required integration is also uh, required here so i'm just going to add here integration right so integration differentiation will apply in these models now let's move on to the next step which is regularization in the in this part you will have to understand what is the problem of overfitting and underfitting then you have the linear regression version of regularized linear regression and you have the gradient descent here which is regularized gradient descent right you need to understand these uh, important concepts also then comes the unsupervised learning in unsupervised learning we have the clustering analysis in clustering analysis you should understand what are the types of clustering like there are uh, agglomerative partitional clustering and in that uh, you must understand what is euclidean and minkowski distance and then we have the last and the most important one in the unsupervised learning which is the k means clustering and uh, you will need uh, you will require this k means clustering a lot when you are actually trying to make uh, different clusters or groups in a particular data set so it's a very important technique uh, in uh, if you go to some google website and you make a search right let's say you are making a search basically it uses a clustering technique to find out the right groups from the whole data set right so let's say you have a whole data set here in this whole data set we have different clusters and based on those clusters uh, the search engine provides the right cluster for the specific search so this is indeed a very important algorithm next comes the last one is sorry the second last one is the probabilistic machine learning models in this we will require some concepts of uh, mathematics which includes probability conditional probability right it is very important then total probability theorem is required after studying these two now you will be able to understand naive bayes classifier and implement it then we have another variant of the naive bayes classifier which is the gaussian naive bayes after this probabilistic machine learning models will end the last part is the advanced part is the neural networks right so this is actually an advanced part in neural networks you will have to understand the perceptron learning algorithm after you will understand what is perceptron learning algorithm you can actually implement it using some python libraries like tensorflow which is provided by google so you can uh, directly create a neural network there are some other libraries like keras and uh, i will also tell you some of the more python libraries that you will require when you are trying to implement all of these right uh, we also have pandas library and for visualization if you want to visualize a data set in the form of graph then you can use matplotlib library and then finally you have the seaborn right so basically first you need to understand the whole theoretical part 
and then you can implement these one by one by uh, using any of these libraries do not directly jump on that uh, on the practical part do not uh, never do this like you are studying linear regression and you just implement in python right because in that case you won't understand these important concepts of gradient descent regularization and it will cause a lot of problem if uh, in your career because in the future part you will get some different types of data set you will have to perform some pre processing in them right so that's what uh, is everything in this whole uh, machine learning roadmap this will actually enable you to uh, do some more projects in machine learning so this these are the basic things and after you will learn all of these things you will be able to implement some uh, projects uh, i will give some example projects here the first project you should do is the stock prediction right you can do the stock prediction using linear regression then you have the uh, these probabilistic model one project for this will be to uh, do the gender classification right in the gender classification if you have a data set of some males and females and you are given their heights and a lot of features and then you will have to predict whether uh, using this uh, naive bayes classifier you will have to predict whether a given uh, feature set belongs to a male or a female right you will have to do the prediction and then in the k means clustering you can do uh, a lot of projects one important project is this spam classification right so you will have to find out whether a particular thing is a spam or not a spam uh, you can do the email spam classification and there are some other projects also but remember that if you will grasp these concepts implementing these projects will become much more easier and you will be able to improve the accuracy of these models also right so uh, now uh, let's come to the very important part of this tutorial which is the free resources that i told about i have created videos on each of these topics uh, from neural networks and all these topics are there uh, on this youtube channel the playlist i have created a whole machine learning playlist which includes each one of them so i have explained each of the concept in detail i have explained some mathematical formulas and i have also covered some mathematical theorems as well in these tutorials so uh, I, i will give the link to that machine learning playlist in the description of this video or alternatively you can go to our website thinkxacademy.com and there you will see we have a machine learning course there you can directly go there and we have already sequentially arranged these tutorials according to this machine learning roadmap so we'll see you in the machine learning playlist and let's start with the linear regression first so that's all for this tutorial thanks for watching